Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Steinauer. Today I'm going to talk to you about a test that we do when you're in our clinic for an evaluation. But before I do, I want to tell you how you can connect with us. If you're local, give us a call at 618-288-1489. If you're not local, go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com. You can do one of two things there. You can fill out a questionnaire or you can schedule a consultation and directly find out from me what we can do to help you with your vision. Now, let's go talk about this particular test and what we're doing here with this. So, on this test, this is what the test paper looks like. The patient would sit here, they would lean down into this machine, and we would show them a target. I'll show you a large target. Here's red. We have different colors on here that we do with them. And then we bring a small target in from the edge like this to find out how fast they're able to see that colored target. There are three things about this test that I can use to determine how well you'll do in a variety of things, but particularly for kids, how well they'll do in a classroom. So here's those three things that this test will help us to learn um, a little bit more about your child and even about you. Number one is based upon this test, we can tell how much of an attention span or ability to sit still and focus your child or even you have when it comes to doing near tasks like with reading and schoolwork. So let's just show you a test that we have here. And probably we're going to have to try to really zoom in. So I'm going to have to come just a little bit closer. You're going to see there's lines drawn or circles drawn on here in color. And it's really small. Now let's look in comparison to how big this one is covering the entire page. So for some of our patients, they have a poor attention span or a degraded attention span. Maybe it's really short and they can only sit for small periods of time to focus. That's usually going to exhibit itself in that small kind of teeny tiny one that I showed you first, visual field. But as we work with someone and we help their brain to be able to process more visual information, it's going to enlarge and look something like that second one that I showed you where it's covering kind of the whole page. Now, what's the second thing that I want you to take away from this as far as what's the second item from this test that I can use to determine how much you're going to be able to kind of sit still and focus and do all kinds of things? Well, the second thing is, is from this test, I can usually determine if your child is a really good reader or maybe if they're struggling with reading. Now, think back to the ones that I just showed you. The children who have problems with reading typically have a smaller tube-like area that their brain is able to process all at one time. What that means is, is that as they're reading, they're going to move their tube along to what they're reading. They may only be able to see one word or part of a word in their tube of, um, you know, like usable peripheral and attention span or vision at a time, which means that they'll be slower with reading, they'll be slower with processing, they might not remember what they've read, they might lose their place a lot, and they might overall just not like to read. Now, as it gets better and we work to uh, tell the brain how to process more visual information, then that field of vision will open up and that tube that they're looking through gets larger, kind of like when I showed you how big it was on almost all of the page. That's when they have the ability to use two eyes together better and they become a lot more efficient with reading. So they become more efficient, accurate readers at that point and they can jump you know, multiple levels or multiple grade levels in reading, not only in their accuracy, um, but also their speed and also with their comprehension. Now, what's the third thing that we can kind of determine from this type of test right here is awareness of surroundings. How aware are you, either you or maybe your child, aware of surroundings? Does your child get distracted easily in school and they have to always kind of turn around to pay attention to what's going on? Maybe with driving, even as an adult, you know, you feel like things kind of sneak up on you, like cars or even around the house, you might feel like things, kids, Kind of run up on you all of a sudden and like oh you're surprised by that awareness of surroundings someone who has that smaller field of vision or a smaller attention 
span or attention field will kind of tend to also have that you know lack of awareness of around you so things will sneak up on them again cars driving down the road not so great if you're going 75 on the interstate okay will sneak up on you kids can kind of sneak up on you and scare you in the house um, kids who are out with you and you're roaming about maybe you're shopping they might have the tendency to kind of dart off and go off and you're like oh my gosh where'd he go where's he at and they kind of take off because their awareness of surroundings is so small they get focused on one thing that they want to do and they forget everything else that's going on around and they might find themselves lost. So as we work on the brain's ability to process more visual information, that awareness of surroundings will get much better, especially when we go from like a small tube of vision that they have to focus. And um, they'll also be able to sit still and not get as distracted in the classroom to see what's going on with the noises around them. As their field of attention gets larger and larger, they'll be able to sit still and pay more attention. Now, if you like this video, definitely hit the like button. If you haven't done so already, make sure that you subscribe to our channel. And if you feel like this could be beneficial to someone else, please pass this video on. Thank you.